Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Hi, guys. How are you? Good evening. Good, teacher. Thank you. Good evening. I'm glad to hear that. Hey, try to turn on your camera, remember. Try to turn on your camera if possible. It's very important. Good evening, teacher. I can Hi, good evening. on my camera and I can participate right now because I'm um, gay at home. Okay, okay. Thank you. Okay, so who remembers yesterday's class? We were talking about procedures. Procedures, yes, how to do things, right? Okay, well, tonight we have some reading to do on how to improve your restaurant service. And that's the main topic right now. And the topic is speaking, practice, serving, and taking food orders tonight. So we have to talk about promotional strategies that you might have seen somewhere. Give me just a minute. Okay, and we are 12, 13 already. Let me do the attendance first so we can move on with the agenda. Hold on just a minute. Okay, Alex Enoch Ramirez Salazar. Alex is here, he's connecting. Ana Raquel Campos Ayala. Thank you. Ana Victoria Galán Cantón. Ana Victoria Galán Cantón. Brandon Alexis Velázquez Ayala. Present teacher. Thank you. Denise Alejandra Zúñiga Aldana. Present in December. <laughs> Thank you. Freddy's Ricardo Landaverde. Present teacher. Uh, first. First. Present teacher. First. first. Good job. Thank you, Alex. Jorge Alberto Laines Diaz. Present. Good evening. Thank you. Jorge Ernesto Hernández Durán. Present teacher. Luis Eduardo Reyes. María José Escobar Portillo. Present mistake. <laughs> Thank you. Maritza Celina Aguilar Campos. Here, Miguel Santos Marroquín Maravilla. Present teacher. Mouse. Excellent. House. Mouse. Mouse. Good. Morelia Giselle Perdomo Pineda. Present map. Thank you. Matt. Nancy Carolina Saldaña Membreño. Present teacher. Thank you. November. November. Thank you. Oscar Eduardo Meléndez Martínez. Roberto Ernesto Morales Colindres. 
present, remember. Excellent. Roxana, Geraldina, Wendy Ortiz. Present, French. Ro present, orange. Orange. Orange? Wait. Oh, Ortiz, orange. Okay. <laughs> I'll take it. Okay. <clears throat> so, let's see. We have to speak about serving and taking food orders. Um, what has been your experience at the fanciest restaurant you've ever been? Can you name a fancy restaurant? Have you ever been to a fancy restaurant? Papalandia. Papalandia? That's fancy? <laughs> okay. Anybody else? La Pampa. La Pampa, oh, okay. That's Brasseria. Brasseria. Yeah. Where is that? This is in the Santa Elena. Uh, in the... Antiguo Cuscatlán. Yeah. Oh. That, that, that looks fancy. Yes. Okay. Pampa, La Brasseria. What else? What about La Bodega Italiana? No sé si el Tony Romans todavía existe. Tony Romans, yes, still. But I don't consider Tony Romans fancy anymore. I don't know. Fancy. How about uh -huh. Tucson restaurant? Tucson? Tucson? Uh -huh. Tucson. Uh, Tucson, Arizona. Tucson. Tucson, uh, yes, it's still a little bit fancier than La Pampa is a I'm sorry than Tony Romas is a little bit fancier than Tony Romas but have you heard of La Bodega Italiana yes that's that's expensive and it's fancy it's nice what else what's the fanciest restaurant in El Salvador La Hacienda Real Hacienda Real, I heard about Hacienda Real. I think I've been there. Have you been to Las Brumas in, um, what do you call this, in um, El Volcán? Yes. Yeah, Las Brumas. That is really yes. fancy. That is delicious. Yes. I've been there twice. And the, the, the ambience... You know, it's it's really nice actually. Um, let me see, let me think. What else? What else? What else? I was thinking about another restaurant and I can't remember it. Maybe Linda Vista Garden. Yes, Linda Vista Garden. That's true. That is true. And there's one more. Just oh, I picnic. remember picnic, exactly. Picnic is very fancy, and and you know what is expensive, but if you're lucky, if you are lucky enough, you can have a great time. The last time I went to picnic, um, I spent like sixty dollars, and and it was just two of us. It was just two of us, and. It was a great time because um, these guys, Prueba de Sonido, Prueba de Sonido was alive. So it was a, a lucky thing, you know, it was our anniversary and, and we were like, what do we do, right? What do we do? What do we do? And then we looked on on, on social media and we found out that they, they were going to be live. Man, it was so cold. It was really cold. <clears throat> and we ordered some... How do you call this uh, fondue? You know, fondue is fondue, fondue right? Fondue, yeah. melted cheese with meat. with Pe meat meat pieces meat. with meat. small pieces, and they serve it on a little chimney 
Chimney. You know what is a chimney? Yeah? No? Chimney? <laughs> a little chimney with some uh, brasas. How do you say brasas in English? I can't remember. Some coil. Coil is carbon. I can't remember. Ember. Ember. Okay. Hot coal. Hot coal. Ember. So it was so hot. It was boiling. But when you serve it, as soon as you served it, it got cold because it was really cold. You know, the environment was really cold. And what else did we have? We had some hamburgers. They were really tasty. But man, the music was um, amazing. Um, I was wearing this shirt, by the way, now that I think about it. And I took a picture with this guy, with the vocalist. I can't remember his name. But but it was amazing. It was a very nice moment. I was singing, you know, singing aloud. And um, he he used to look at me. You know, every time I, I, I sing, he was looking at me because I was singing good and I like to sing, you know. I like doing karaoke. That That's a, uh, what do you call it? Uh, a hobby that I have sometimes. And I sing at church. I also play the guitar at church. So it's really nice. I, li I like that. Okay. So fancy restaurants. So if you have been to a fancy restaurant, what was your experience when they took your order? How did you feel when they took your order? How was the service? Talk to me. You feel like a VIP person. <laughs> Do you feel like a very important person? That is true. It's like going to the Cameron, right? The same thing. I mean, you do nothing. The food is served. You don't have to do anything. Okay, tell me, but tell me more. How was it? What happened first? What happened first when you got to the restaurant? Is the different experience than other restaurant? Why? Because the, the waiters. Mm -hmm. What's wrong with the waiters? The waiters they take better better care of of you. They take better care of you. You said it right. Very good, Brendan. They take better care of you. Okay. Why does a waiter give good service? What is the purpose of a waiter giving good service? What do they want? La propina. How do you say that in English? <laughs> tip. The tip. The tip. Yes. They look for a good tip, right? Did you leave a nice tip when you went to these places? No. Okay. It's on the order. It's on the, on the, on the final. What? It's on the ticket, right? On the total of your order is a 10% by law. By law, you must leave a 10%. But can you leave a tip just because if you got a good service? Yes. Definitely. Definitely. That's very important. Okay. So there are uh, many expressions that we can talk about um, but I want you to come up 
with the ideas of what you can say as a waiter, what you must say as a customer. So let's start. I need your help providing me um, the sentences, you know, like, what are you going to say? As a customer, what do you say when you go to a restaurant? What is the first thing that you say? Can you repeat the question, teacher? Okay, you are the customer or a restaurant? You are in a restaurant. You have to speak English. So what is the first thing that you say at the restaurant? Maybe uh, good evening or good night. Okay, you uh, greet. Uh -huh. Yes. And then what? And then ask for a table. How do you do it? I would like a table for two. <laughs> Excellent. That's very polite. Yeah, you some some people just go like, "Hi, good uh, table for two. Table for two, please." Okay. What's the answer of the waiter? Uh, could you uh, borrow a menu? Okay. Do you borrow? No. Could I borrow a menu? Could I borrow a menu? Could I borrow a menu? How else? Okay, good job, Roxana. What, what, or who, who? Yeah, Roxana and Victoria. I don't know. Um, could I borrow a menu? How else can you say this? Can I have the menu or may I have the menu? May I have the menu? May I have the menu? Now, have you noticed at Denny's you don't ask for the menu, right? Okay, they have a QR code now on the table, right? So you have to scan the QR code Everybody knows what is a QR code, right? Yes. 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 Okay. <laughs> awesome. Okay. So. That's good. Okay. Um, hmm. Tonight, our goal is to do a role play like the one we're building right now. So what would be the next uh, sentence here? How do you say aquí tiene in English? The waiter will say aquí tiene. Here you, Here you, go. you are. Here you go. Excellent, hey, good. There you go. Or there you go. Here you go. No, here you go. And then once the customer sees the menu, um, well, what's what what do you say to your um to your partner, you know, to the person that goes with you? What do you do with the menu? Next step is to make a decision, right? Take a decision. So what's the conversation like with the other person? What would you like to order? Okay. But that is with your significant other, <laughs> with the person that you go to the restaurant, right? Well, what would you like to order? Uh, okay, and what do you respond?
I would like meat with vegetables. Okay. That sounds right. Any other way? Any other way of saying this? Okay. I think I'll have I feel like expressions man I'll eat a horse man I'll eat a horse meaning I'm starving you know what's starving what what is starving what is starving With a lot of hungry, hambriento. Very hungry, yes, when you're very, very hungry. hungry. That's right. Okay. I'll like meat with vegetables. I think I'll have a pizza. I think I'll have spaghetti. Mm, I feel like lasagna tonight. I feel like a burger. I feel like a burger tonight. What do you feel like? I feel like pizza too. Maybe pizza. Okay. Man, I'll eat a horse. I'm starving. Okay. So, once you decided what you want, and did you understand this part? I feel like. Eh, todos me están entendiendo porque siento que no hay nadie en la clase, yeah. señores. Yes. Come on, guys. Yes. Okay. So, I feel like it's like. Um, de que tiene ganas, right? When is time for food? Do you have availables, available tables? Okay. The greenhouse. The greenhouse. The greenhouse. I, there's another restaurant, right? Garden. I can't remember, but it's very expensive. Okay. Green garden, or I can't remember. So, and I never been there because they always say it is very expensive. Okay, so man, I'll eat a horse. Once you make once you make up your mind, the waiter or waitress comes to your table and what does she or he ask? What what is the next interaction with the waiter or waitress? Usually they ask for the starters or appetizers. Wait, but they say an opening, an opening yes. sentence. What is the opening sentence? Are you ready to order? Perfect. Ready to order? Ready to order? Ready to order? More polite. May I take your order? Okay. Even um, more polite. Hi, my name is Ta -da -da. I'll be your waiter or waitress. Okay. Ready to order? So, my name, hi, my name is I'll be your waiter. Ready to order? Because any waiter can bring you the menu, but then they assigned you a waiter. The captain, the waiter's captain, assigns the tables that they will work on, and then they go to you and present themselves. They must introduce themselves. This gives you the idea that is a very fancy restaurant. <laughs> it's a professional restaurant because waiters are very respectful and that's, that's important. Do we agree? Yes? 
Yes, teacher. Imagine you go to a restaurant and they go like, ¿Qué quiere? Uh, <laughs> this happens to me in La Tiendita here in my neighborhood. When I go to La Tiendita, Niña Silvia is always like, ¿Qué quiere? I'm like, This impolite. That's not impolite. polite. That's this... impolite. Have you feel like that? Okay. Yes. It's like they don't like to have a little tiendita, right? I don't know why. Anyways. Uh-huh. And then what? Then what? You order, right? How do you do it? Now, here's where I want to clear this out. This is what you say to a waiter. You use wood. I like meat with vegetables. Okay. But not onions, please. But no onions, I'm sorry. But no onions, please. For example. Okay. I'll continue. A waiter may suggest may may suggest um other things and, and he or she may go like, may I suggest some starters? Okay. Um we have um I don't know fondue. I don't know how to write fondue. Okay. Can you spell fondue? Come on. <laughs> how do you spell fondue? F uh -huh. O mm -hmm. N <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I think that's that's the right way. <laughs> fondue. Okay. We have fondue um served with uh, salads, salty, salty um crackers. Salty crackers. But now we need to cl classify the fondue, right? right? So we could say mushrooms. Mushrooms. Um, is that the right spelling? Oh my God, I'm dyslexic today. Mushroom. I always make this mistake. It's actually mush room. Double uh -huh. double U O. Oh, double O. Oh. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Mushroom fondue served with salty crackers or shrimp fondue. You like shrimps? You know what are shrimps? Are camarones. Excellent. Yes. Seafood, right? Okay. Then the customer may go like, mm, that sounds interesting. 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 What options do you have for soup? Okay, you could also say, um, what options do you have for soup? I'm more a soup person, you know. Like that. I'm more a soup person, you know. I'm more a cheesy person. Listen to this. I'm more a cheesy person. You know, and it, it well, he's offering us cheese, right? So, no, 
<laughs> Perfect. I'm a cheesy person. I love fondue. See? Okay. So bring one of those. Bring one of this. Bring one of those. Sometimes you go like, okay, how much is that? Where is it? Oh, okay. And you look for it on the menu. So this is the idea. Make sure you extend yourself. If you are three or four creating the creating the role play, then you are the guests. There's only one waiter, okay? Just one waiter for all for the table. I send you a little image with some ideas of a conversation, you know, on regular phrases. Can I take your order, sir, madam? Madam, are you ready to order? What would you like to start with? Anything to drink? Oh, one thing. A good waiter don't ask what would you like to, for starter? What would you like for starter? Mm. A good waiter offers special items, you know, like you know the, the menu. Sometimes, in case you didn't know, uh, restaurants have specials, right? Specialties, as we talked before, but also they give commission to the to the waiters. Did you know? Did you know they get commissions if they sell the special of the day, if they sell the starter of the day? Okay, that that's very interesting. Okay. <laughs> Uh, how would you like your steak? Do you know the different uh, steak? The different steak cooked? The different steak levels? No? How do you like your meat? Okay, look at this image. Look at that picture that I just sent you on WhatsApp. You have rare meat, medium rare, medium, medium well, and well done. Okay, these are um, the cooking of the steak. Steak. How would you like your steak? How do you like your steak, Denise? Uh, in my case, I prefer medium well. Yeah, that, that's what we all do. No, we, all, we do medium, actually. I, I like medium. Yes, medium. It's good, too. Yeah, some people like it. Medium rare. I don't know. Uh, it's, it's too raw. It's too raw. Okay. Do you want vegetables with it? With it? Why don't you try the pizza? Why don't you try the pizza? Why don't you try the pizza? Can I start you off with anything to drink? That's a nice question. Can I start you off with anything to drink? Ojo. Modales. Can es un imperativo. Si alguien te pregunta algo con quién, um, o tú le preguntas a alguien con quién, es como decirle, no hay otra opción. Yeah. Se dice, can I start you off with anything to drink? Porque es como obligación tomar algo. O sea, traerte algo de beber mientras esperas el plato. Lo cual es bueno, ¿no? Y se espera que eso hagas. Right? That's etiquette. So, may I get you anything to drink? Uh, that's more polite. What would you like for dessert? What would you like for dessert? Dessert. Do you want a dessert? What would you like to drink with your meal? Okay. So review that, come up with more examples. And the goal right now is to make, sorry, to create um, a conversation. I missed the, the writing. Okay. I missed what I wrote there. So make a role play be extends, you know, you are at a restaurant and one of you is the waiter. Got it? 
Cool. So let's do it. Bien, señores adultos, yo sé que la mayoría está ocupado, pero acuérdense, están en una clase, traten de participar con sus compañeros y si no pueden participar por algún motivo, pues unirse para estar atentos a, la, a cómo participan los demás compañeros, dar ideas por lo menos, ¿ok? Let's do it. Puede compartir uno su pantalla si lo desean también. pasó? Uh -huh. <laughs> Okay, uh, Raquel, Morelia, let's go. Giselle, Alex. Hey, Anna. Um, hey, Roxanne. Okay, what would you like to order? Or can I take your order? Okay, I could like... Um, um, what is the a start? I would like a start. Would you a like start? a start? Mm -hmm. What kind of starters do you like? Uh, we have, for example, um, bread with onion. What? What is garlic? Sorry, uh, bread with garlic. Okay. Um, we also have a start. I I could like um. Um. What is if what kind of Food. I have, we have green salad too, French onion soup. What would you like to order? I would like French, French salad. Qué, qué pushy as a waiter. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Been, been demanding. What would you like to order? <laughs> Me recordó al Chihuahua. ¿Y por qué brava? Así soy yo. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, keep going. <laughs> okay. Bueno, I, I would like um, a French um mm -hmm. a French salad. French salad. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you have would you like okay. any snacks? Mm, no. I don't know. I, I would Maybe, good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Okay, go for one, please. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, sure.
and then maybe um, can I uh, offer you a drink before you or sorry um yes I I I Permítame. A glass of water. Un vaso con agua. Okay. I would like a glass of water. water. Please. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Okay. Um, no sé qué más. <laughs> eh, le dejaré su. Le dejaré uh, el menú. Okay. Okay. Uh, creo que era. Here, here you go, the menu. The menu. Mm -hmm. I'll be back in a minute. Minute when you, when you, ooh. When you were when you ready, <laughs> okay. It to take your order, para tomar su orden, para ah, cuando esté ah. listo. Okay, okay. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Aquí podría you. ser. Yes, uh -huh. yes, yes, thank you. Sí. Ay, ay, ay. Eh, luego, are you ready to order? Yes, Yes, I'm ready. Sí. I'm ready. Mm -hmm. Sería. Ajá. Ahí estaría. Mhm. Mm Winning. May I have a table for three? Miguel. What do you want to order? What do you want to order? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But again, yeah. eh, no sé si los customers donde dice good evening, may I have a table for three? Creo que eso lo tendría que decir yo también, porque ustedes van llegando y yo soy el que los va a atender, ¿o no? Sí, puede ser. Tendría que I ser como un... An example on the chat. For example, we can say uh, the waiter, good evening, and the customers, good evening, may I have a table for three? Then yes, the waiter, let yes, let me check. Do you prefer to eat inside or in the garden? No, Luego, bien, or then the customers say, I prefer to, I prefer a table in the garden. Y luego ya ponemos la tema cosa. Yes, let me check. Do you prefer 
to it inside or in the garden. So the, uh, customers. Eh, ¿Qué diríamos nosotros? <coughs> I prefer a table in the garden. También aquí me aparece una pregunta que bien una opción, ¿verdad? Dice, eh, sure, dice, have you booked a table? Es como, ¿has reservado una mesa? Reserva. Uh -huh. Digamos que se puede dar en algún contexto. Eso sería que ellos les preguntar a ustedes si van llegando, si tienen una mesa reservada. O le Así es. Ajá. Va, entonces ponemos que... Ah, for, uh, lo que hace el mesero de, por ejemplo, take order, serve food, uh, food and drink. Clean the table, prepare the food and bill so that the customer can pay for the service. Uh, will come in customer wielding 10 on the mm -hmm. table. Is necessary um probably that with pero no sé los roles do you entend the teacher? Sorry, what happened, Freddy's? Eh, los roles del winter. Eso entendí. Oh, the waiter roles. En su caso, como solo están ustedes dos, sería uno sería el cliente y el otro un, el mesero. Ah, ok. Entonces vamos a hacer como una conversación entre nosotros dos. That, that's a role play, exacto. Eso es un okay. juego de roles. Ok. Ok, teacher. Ok. Ah, entonces. Um, ups. Voy, a, voy a poner en el chat el, la conversación. Ok. Y ahí, entonces de ahí practicamos. Ok, ok. Thank you. Vaya, ahí va. Ok. Um, eso es lo que tú me vas a decir. Me dice, but welcome, Freddy. We sí. are glad to have you today. Yo uh, soy el mesero. Ok. Ok. You will see things. Gracias. Mesa No sé, quizás así. Thanks. Okay. 
things. Table for, for, table for, for, como se dice, place. Mesa para cuatro. This, please. Me puedes traer el menú, como digo. Dice, can you write me the menu? Is that correct location or, or, or we, we, we have to use another word? Location or uh, quiero decir, espera un momento mientras preparamos su, su ubicación. Ah, okay. Okay, okay. Please wait a moment. Will we prepare your location? Okay. Thanks. Y ahí me puede decir usted, okay, de acuerdo, me puede prestar el menú. Algo así va. Can you write? It's okay. It's okay. Okay. Can you write the menu? Okay. Okay. <sighs> Okay. I I could like the um, quick carly. Okay. So after I'm going to ask you what could you like? Yes. What could you like to start with? Okay. I will for me I would like to start with with salad. And my friend, yeah, 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 Hello, Roxana. Hello, Good evening. I would like to start with a French salad, too. French salad. Okay. Y de dos de queso, ¿cómo se dice? I think is. I don't know. Okay, okay. No puedo otra. Finger cheese. ¿Cómo? Finger cheese. Finger cheese. Cheese fingers. Finger. Cheese fingers. Cheese fingers. Cheese fingers. Cheese fingers. Okay. Great. Okay. Next question. Okay, next question. Okay, um, are you ready to order? Yes. La voy a anotar. Oh, no sé si va a ir Marixa, que lleva el primero. Eh? Yes. <laughs> bueno, así voy anotando el orden. <laughs> I pay. <laughs> are you ready to order? Y dice, bueno. 
Yes, yes. Yes, I I do sería. Oh, come on, yes. Are you ready to are you ready to order? Yes. Okay. Okay. Uh, you say you what you want. I could like as a main main dish, creo que era. Plato principal. Uh -huh. Main course. Main course. Course. Main course. Course. Okay. As main course, I would like to order meat with rice and vegetables without onion. Okay. What about you? What would you like to order, Anna Victoria? Uh, for me, I could like order um, shrimps and fried fish with vegetables. Okay. 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 Could you like bread with garlic? No. No. No, I, I don't. <laughs> okay. I don't know. I want tortilla. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, what, <laughs> anything to drink? Yes. What would you I like am, to drink? I am drink. Thir thirsty, creo que es. Thirsty? Sediento? Okay. Okay. Okay, yes, I am thirsty. I would like to order lemonade. Lemonade. Okay. Okay. And my friend. I yes, I, I would like drink a pink lim lemonade. Okay. Mm -hmm. Postre, eh, ¿cómo sería? Uh -huh. eh, um, do, you want, uh, do, do you want a dessert? Dessert, God. <laughs> yes, I like one cheesecake with coffee. Okay. And my friend. Yes, I, I, I feel... um. Like um chocolate ice cream. Okay. Ice cream. Yes. Okay. Yeah, put the seat. So we have you finish your your book. Yes. And yes. so I'm going to ask you. Así hasta el final, dice Morelia. Ok. Ok, luego I will. Uh, ay, este. Hi. Eh, ay, no sé cómo decir. Ah, here you go. Here you go. Hi, here you go. <laughs> Aquí es donde ya estoy entregando, creo yo. Ajá, ya entregando. Ajá, ajá, here you go. Is everything okay? Le entrego, todo está en orden. Ajá, is oh, everything okay? And what would you say? Everything is. Everything. Everything is great. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Provecho, como se dice provecho en inglés. I don't know. Have, 
I don't know, have a nice dinner. <laughs> Maybe. Enjoy. Oh, enjoy. Enjoy your enjoy. meal. Enjoy your meal. Okay, enjoy your meal. Yeah, you don't say bon appetit. That's French. Bon appetit. Okay. Enjoy your meal. Okay, enjoy your meal. Then, um, you asked for the ticket, maybe? Mm -hmm. Sí. La entre, la, el pago. Uh, can, you, can I have, can, I don't know. Can Would I... you need the bill? Ah, yes. Would you... Bring me the, the bill. Uh -huh. Así sería la cuenta. Uh -huh. Here you go. Here you go. Here you go. And then, no sé. Are you going to pay in cash or with a card? A card? Nancy? I'll I play cash. I Paying cash. I pay. I pay. Let's see. Let's see. Thank you for visiting. Visiting us. It has been a pleasure. Ay, no sé cómo se escribe pleasure. Pleasure. Creo. <laughs> te voy a buscar. <laughs> you got it. Ok, ok. <laughs> It has been a pleasure. Cambiamos el primero. Que es pork, que es un... Es un principal dish, no sé cómo se le llamaría. Main course. Es main course. Así que pongámosle un, un, ¿cómo se llama? Un starter, ¿verdad? En vez de pork. Puede ser un, eh, una ensalada. Sería bien así. Los vegetables. Por mí estaría bien, no sé ahí. Mire este lo que le iba a decir aquí o cuando la compañera dijo de Do you want to order el before antes del before pongámosle una coma para que divida eso. Sí, son... Está ahí. Hay una coma, ahí lo dividimos ya. Entonces, sí, va. Uh -huh. eh, do you want any appetizer before preparing your food? Quisiera este, algún aperitivo antes de que preparen su comida. Y ahí sí ya nos vamos bien, creo yo. Con la coma vamos. dividimos. ¿Ya? Y ya de ahí nos vamos sí. a la siguiente. Ah, con la coma dividimos. Ahí estábamos bien. A ver, what do you want to order? ¿Cómo estaba bien? ¿Cómo ah, va. Order. Ahí, vaya, ahí le pone la coma. Order coma. Mm -hmm. Before prepare, before, antes. A ver. Do you want any appetizer? ¿Algún aperitivo? Agregamos otra pregunta. Ah, no, ahí mismo. No, ahí mismo. Es que todavía no, aquí mismo, aquí mismo, después de la coma. Do you want... Do you want any, ¿qué? Appetizer. Después de esta coma, ¿no? Sí, 
porque siempre después ah. de la coma dividimos para decir algo más, extra. O sea, que hay un do you want, ya hay una pregunta. Ajá, do you want un... Ahora ponemos son appetizers. Do you want un... acá, ¿verdad? Son... Sí. Eso se escribe, el appetizer. Some appetizer. Do you want to order before bring your food? Some appetizer. No sé si está bien la idea así o le cambiamos. Appetizer is with double P. Mm -hmm. Another P. Appetizer. Yes. Okay, thanks. O oh, puede ser aquí, mire, Walter. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Do you want? No quiero ver. Do you want some appetizer before preparing your order? O oh, nos, nos estaríamos saltando. Sí, yo creo que ahí sí no. Mm, sí, está raro, la verdad. Sí, ahí no. Ahí creo que no sería de. O mejor, en vez de ordenar, pongámosle, eh, póngale ahí que, que quisiéramos de entrada. ¿verdad? Como ahí en el mismo, en el mismo del, donde, donde dice, what do you want to order, vaya, ahí terminaríamos y yo les podría decir, este, quisiera algo antes de preparar su comida, algo, no sé, un aperitivo. Uh -huh. Pero después de la coma, ¿va? o sea, de donde dice before, hay todo eso que está ahí, creo que lo quitaríamos. Eh, Esto, ¿no? Ajá, sí. Vaya, aquí estamos bien. ¿Qué quieren ordenar? Y después de la cómo podemos poner, hicieron un aperitivo antes que eh, mientras preparan su comida. Y ahí donde sí. entran ustedes tres, ahí como están de lo que han pedido. Would you like some appetizer? Uh -huh. Muy bien. Ahí quedaría. Sí. Hicieron algún eso. Va. Muy bien, la idea creo que ya, ya vamos a Ajá. Vaya ahí, ahí mismo, hay que cierre ahí al final de appetizer, un aperitivo. No, está bien, hasta ahí, está bien. Vaya ahí, entran ustedes tres, está bien. Ok, en five minutes. En five minutes. minutos. Sí, así escribe minutos. La, la minutes. Minutes. Minutes, no. Minutes creo que es. Sí, ¿verdad? Sí, minutos es. Five minutes. Ok, en five minutes. Five minutes. Eh, Podríamos hacer un plato hecho. En five minutes. Eh, traigo sus aperitivos. Uh -huh. En five minutes traigo sus aperitivos. I come sí. here, no. ¿Ah? I come here. ¿Cómo se dice traigo? Es bring. A ver si bring. Bring. ¿Cómo se escribe? Ese quiero acordarme solo que es así como se dice. Bring. B -R -I -N -G. B-R-I-N-G. Bring. B-R-I-N-G. Ah, bring. Ponga bring. Bring. G. G. Ahí. Ahí está. Bring. Thank you. Thank you. Sure. Hello, teacher. Mm -hmm. Ready? Se, se fueron todos. Really? Brandon, too? Yes. Oh, uh, there's Jorge in the two. Okay. Uh, Raquel and Brandon are here too. This. 
is Is welcome. Hello, hello. Hello, Brenda. Siento que no pude contestar, pero. No, me, había sacado, me había sacado del Zoom y no me dejaba activar el micrófono. Ok. ¿Qué estamos haciendo? Es the customer and waiter the restaurant. A conversation. Sí. ¿Puedes ver el chat? Sí. Déjame ver. Yes. Eso estamos haciendo. Ya. Eh, si querés lo practicamos un caso una vez. Okay. You are here. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Welcome for this. We're glad to have you today. Do you want a table for how many people? Is thanks. Uh the table for for please. Sure. Please wait a moment. We'll we prefer your location. Okay. Can you grind the menu? Sure. Here you go. This is your table ready. Can you recommend the house especially? Specialty. Specialty. Okay. Absolutely. The specialty is a duck with orange sauce. Sauce. It's really sauce. Uh, orange sauce. It's really delicious. Can you serve? Can you serve? Uh, what? Can you serve? Use that uh, this duck with orange juice, please. Yes. Okay. So. Ahí hasta ahí estamos. Seguimos viendo. Hasta ahí está. Sí. Wait, please, Brian, use the uh, quint, quint, uh, quint, uh, the The bill. The, the bill. What? Bring the bill? Can you bring the bill? Bring the bill. ¿Puedes traer la cuenta? Okay. Okay. Bring the bill. Okay. Um...
Oh, okie dokie. Okay. I think we're all back. Yes, we're back. So, uh, how are we going to do this? I have decided to go one by one. So, group number one is going to start. We have Maritza. Welcome, Maritza. Ana Victoria, Eduardo, and Roxana. Okay. 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 If you have written the role play, you may share your screen if you want. We don't have a screen. Okay. <laughs> now, please, guys, try to turn on your camera, okay? Okay. Okay, Bean. Good evening. My name is Roxana. I'll be your waiter. Good evening, Roxana. Uh, table for two, please. Okay, come on. Please sit down. Here is the menu. Thank you. What would you like to start with? Mm, for me, Roxanne, I would like to start with cheesy fingers. What about you, my friend? Uh, hello, Roxana. Good evening. I would like to uh, start a fresh salad, please. Okay. Are you ready to order your main course? Yes, we we are ready. As main course, I would like to order meat with rice and vegetables without onion. I don't like onion. Okay. What about you? What about uh, for me? I would like order um shrimp and fried fish with vegetables. Okay. And what would you like to drink? Mm, I'm thirsty. I would like to order a lemonade and then. With desserts, I would like to order um, Coca-Cola. What about you, Anna? I would like drink a uh, pink lemonade. And for dessert, I feel like chocolate, chocolate ice cream. And what about you, Maritza? Do you want the dessert? Yes, I would like um, one cheesecake. Okay. Now, everything is okay, is okay with your order? Yes, everything is fine. Thank you. Can you read me the bill, please? Of course. Here is your bill. It's $45. So expensive, <laughs> but yeah, uh, it was fine. I will, I would like to pay with credit card, please. Okay, no problem. We will waiting for you very soon. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. By the way, take five dollar tip. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, thank you very much. <laughs> Goodbye. Bye. Okay, good job. Thank you. Let's go with some feedback. Um so pronunciation you say wood. 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 Don't forget it's just W U V wood. 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 Perfect. Wood. wood. Mm -hmm. And I would like for starter fresh salad. I would like for starter fresh salad. 
Mm, I, you could say also, um, I would like a fresh salad as a starter. I would like a fresh salad for a starter. Mm, as a starter. Okay. okay? Uh, yeah. I would like drink. We are missing something here. Y lo quiero decir en español mm -hmm. súper rápido. Después de un modal, yo no necesito una preposición. Hmm. Nunca. Después de un modal no necesito el tú. ¿Ya? Necesito un verbo en su forma base. So hasta ahí vamos bien. I would like, pero después de like, have, want, need, love, hate. Necesitamos la preposición to si lo que voy a decir después de estos verbos de necesidad es otro verbo. Por ejemplo, ordenar. I would like to order. I would like to drink. Ok. I like to drink. I like to drink. To drink. I like to have. I would like to eat. I would like to try your Mexican food. Ok. We will waiting for you very soon. We'll be waiting. We'll be waiting for you soon. Repeat, Roxana. We'll be waiting for you soon. We'll be waiting for you soon. <laughs> mm -hmm. That sounds very nice. Okay. We'll be waiting for you soon. We'll be wait. We'll be waiting for you soon. Better. Good job. Okay. Thank you, girls. Let's go with group number two. Jorge Alberto, Denise. Morelia Giselle and Nancy Carolina. Okay. I'm going to share my screen. Okay, welcome to Los Cebollines. Would you like a table for two? Good evening. Table for one, please. Sure. Can I offer you a drink before I take your order? Yes, I would like a glass of water, please. Okay, here you go with the menu. I'll be back in a minute when you are ready. Yes, thank you. Here is your drink. Are you ready to order? Yes, I'm ready. May I have a seafood soup? Of course. Would you like to hear our specialty? Okay, that is, that is the specialty of the day. Today, we are serving Alfredo pasta with mushrooms and bacon. Would you like to try this dish? Yes, the day especially, it's okay. Excellent. Would you like another drink? Yes, please. I would like a raspberry lemonade. Of course. Would you like something else? That is, thank you. Great, I will repeat your order. Your order is seafood soup. One specialty of the day in a raspberry lemonade. Is that correct? Yes, it's correct. Excellent. Your order will be ready in a few minutes. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Hi, here is your order. Is everything okay? Everything is great. Thank you. Okay, enjoy your meal. Will you bring me the bill, please? Here you go. Are you going, going to pay in cash or with a credit card? I pay in cash. Thank you for visiting us. Visiting us. It has been a pleasure. I hope you come back soon. Of course, I will be back. Have a good night. Good night. That's it. <laughs> wow, that was really good. Thank you. Very nice. I'll be back. 
I'll be back. Si no entienden la referencia, no son mis amigos. I'll be back. Schwarzenegger. Ok. Here you go. The menu. Um, now, just here you go. Here you go. Si está en el contexto, right? Here you go. Digamos que no está en el contexto. Con el menú, tú solo se lo das. Ok. Here you have the menu. Here you have the menu. Okay. Um, when you were ready, when you're ready. I'll be back when you're ready. When you are ready. When you're ready. When you are ready. I'll be back when you're ready. Okay. Pronunciation. Specialty. Okay. The restaurant specialty. Specialty. Mm -hmm. The specialty, right? What's the specialty of today? What's today's special? That That's very common. What is today's special? Okay. Today's special. I don't like today's special. Would you like something else? Mm. Would you like something else? Mm. Yes, it, it, you can do that. Sounds better if you say uh, anything else. Anything else? Okay. That's all, I think. Hmm. Good job. We're about to understand if a waiter should make questions like that or if a waiter should give questions, you know, like suggestions, suggestions on what to order. Okay. Um, ayer envié un video cuando estaba hablando con Freddy's al grupo. No sé si alguien más lo vio. Pues cuando le estoy dando feedback a alguien de, en ese uno a uno que tenemos esos 10 minutos, si ustedes ven que vio algo al chat durante ese tiempo es porque le estoy recomendando a, es, a ese alumno que se ha quedado los 10 minutos algo ahí, ¿no? Pero eso va para todo el grupo. Envió un video que se llamaba Es posible lo imposible de Oscar Villalobos. No sé si alguien lo vio. Omar Villalobos. Sí, es. Uh -huh. Sí, sí le gustó Freddy, ¿Sí estuvo bien, interesante. Yes, teacher, it's interesting uh -huh. because the experience. Inspiring. Inspiring. Yeah. It changes your mindset, how to say things to someone else. I like that part when, when you go to a restaurant and you go like, I want some tacos and I... Man, they sell very good tacos here. I want tacos. And then you get the waiter. Can I give you today's special? A hamburger? A hamburger? Okay, a hamburger will be. And you know what? Yeah, hamburger. <laughs> right? Te sugestionan a hacer lo que ellos quieren y no lo que tú quieres. That's very funny. <laughs> okay. Good job, guys. Uh, let me go with group number two. Three then, um, Majo, Miguel, and Roberto Morales. Bien, vamos a compartir. <clears throat> okay. Uh, good evening. May I have a table for three? Yes, let me check. Do you prefer to eat inside in the garden? I prefer a table in the garden. Sure. Have you booked a table? No, no haven't. Could you follow me, please? Thank you. This is your table. There are some menus I'll, I will come back when you're ready to order. Thank you very much. What do you want to order? Would you like some appetizer? For me as a main course, I want uh, pork with vegetables. May you serve, may you serve a cup of wine, please. 
for a starter, I would like a sandwich. Five minutes bring your appetizer. Thank you for coming. Good evening. Thank you. And that's all. That's it. That's it. Creo que no se escucha, teacher. Thank you. Sorry. Okay, great job. Um, just one thing. When you say goodbye, you know, you don't say good evening when you say goodbye. You say good night. Have a nice evening. You can say have a nice evening, by the way. Okay, when you say goodbye, you can say have a nice evening. Okay. Or you say good night. Okay. So when we start the class, for example, we say good evening. Good evening. Hey, good evening. Hey, good evening. How are you? Good. Thank you. Okay. When you say goodbye, you can only say, okay, have a nice evening. Have a nice evening. Or just, okay, goodbye. Good night. Good night. Just keep that in mind. Pronunciation, the number three. 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 Okay. Three. That's pronounced Z R I. Three. 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 Okay. Again, so you put the tip of your tongue in the middle of your teeth. And you say three, 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 three. Esto no funciona si usted pone su mano enfrente de su cara y sopla y no siente el aire, eso no funciona. So you say three, three, three. Ok, tiene que sentir el aire en la palma de la mano. Ok, uh, next, have you booked a table? 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 Booked, booked, booked. Easier. Do you have a reservation? You have a reservation? Do you have a reservation? No, we don't. Have you booked a reservation? Have you booked a table? I'm sorry. Have you booked a table? No, we haven't. Good job. No, we haven't. This is your table. Sounds very despective. Cuando un mesero dice, this is your table. Este es un mesa. Right? Sounds heavy. So, again, here you go. Here is your table. Here's your table. I heard, I have heard, um, this is you. Like that. I've heard that in old movies, in very old movies, they go like, this is you. Okay. This is you. This is you. The, the waiter points at the table, goes like, this is you. Okay. Politeness. Great job. And the last group, or a couple, I shall say, Brandon, Fredis, Jorge, and Raquel. Thank you, guys. Okay. Okay. Welcome, Freddy's. We're glad to have you today. Do you want to a table for how many people? Uh, thanks. Four person, please. Sure. Please wait a moment. We'll we prepare your location. Thanks. Can you write me the menu? Sure. Here you go. This is your table ready. Okay. Can you recommend the house specially? Absolutely. The specialty is a dog with orange sauce. It's really delicious. Can you serve the duck dicks? 
Can you, sir, use the this duck with orange juice, please? With, ple with pleasure. I hope you like it. Can you write me the bill diner was very delicious? Okay, I'm glad you like it. It we have to see you soon. Thank you. Good night. That's it. That's it. Teacher. Okay. I was getting okay. Uh, let's see some things here. I have a question for everybody else. Todos los demás que no están en el grupo, a ver, everybody else. I'm sorry. What did Freddy's order? What did Freddy's order for for meal? Majo, Jorge Alberto, Eduardo, Raquel, no, well, Raquel, oh, yeah, Maritza, everybody else. Can you repeat your order, please? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> No, what did, he, what did he have for 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 dinner? Wait, Freddy's, wait. This wait, uh, wait, wait. Okay, no. <laughs> Just let them let them. <laughs> I want to see if they were paying attention. Nobody was paying attention. Oh, come on. How do you say que pena me dan in English? <laughs> no ponen atención al compañero. You say shame on you. Repeat, shame on you. Shame on you. Vas con shame un amigo. Shame on you. Vas con un amigo y pasan a la parte de una persona pidiendo dinero y no le da dinero. Y saben ustedes que tiene dinero, right? And shame on you. Tacaño. Qué vergüenza me das, right? Shame on you. Um, este ejemplo también se puede ocupar cuando le decís a alguien así como Uy, man, qué lástima. What a shame. And what a shame. Se desperdició un pastel en tu refrigeradora, se arruinó. Man, what a shame. Right? Okay, let's see. Um, do you want a table for how many people? Me comí la pez, sorry. Can somebody paraphrase this question? How do you make this question? Mesa para cuantos? Four people. Yeah, but ¿cuál es la pregunta correcta? Porque es para decir, do you want a table for how many people? It's grammatically incorrect. So how do you say that, Miguel? Mesa para cuantos? Robert? No, easy guys. Table for how many? How many? Table for how many? Good, Brandon. Yeah, table for how many? Mesa para cuantos? That's the way. Okay. Pronunciation will while while I have while your order is right. While your order is right. While 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 your order is right. Can you write me the menu, please? I think you did this twice, Freddy. Twice. You said, write me. And I think you were trying to say, bring. Bring me the menu. Bring. Uh -huh. Can you bring me the menu, please? Can you bring me the bill? Yes. Bring me the bill. Okay. It's bring, not bring. write. Uh -huh. So. Bring. Bring. Uh, you could also have, can I have the menu? You can say, can I have the menu? Can I have the menu, please? Or can can I have the bill? Can we have the bill, please? Can we have the bill? The bill, serve just the dish, duck. Oh, by the way, the pronunciation of salsa in English, we said so. sauce. 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 Mm -hmm. Oh. Here I got a little bit lost. Serve just the dish, duck. If you can serve just the dog dish, the dog dish, it's okay. 
And believe it or not, pronunciation of the word. Thank you. Has estado pronunciando esto to, toda la vida desde pequeño. Le decía a la señora de la tienda. Thank you. Ah, thanks. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Mm. Erase and rewind. Borrón y cuenta nueva. Okay. You pronounce this as thank you. No te enfoques en la K. Olvídate de la K. Solo decir thank. Like this. Thank, thank. you. You. Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Mira el chat. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Ahora, let's continue with this. Thanks. Oh, thanks. 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 Eso es en plural, ¿verdad? De manera general, gracias. Thanks. Ok. Um, si quieres, por ejemplo, decir en el grupo, en el WhatsApp, thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, everybody. Thanks. Ahora bien. Lo que todo el mundo dice, gracias a Dios. Thank God. Thank God. Ojo con esto, eh. Thank God. Like that. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. Ok. Eso me lo enseñó alguien que lo aprendió a la calle en Estados Unidos y lo he verificado con muchos americanos. Y dice, thank God. Thank God. thank God. Cuidado, eh. Thank God. No decís, thanks God. Mm, I don't know. Thanks God. No, thank God. Thank God. Thank God. Ok. Ok. Good job, good job, good job. And I think that's it, right? Great job. Thank you, guys. Let's go with something that you may like. So, es primera vez que vamos a hacer esto, así de que rápido doy las instrucciones. Ya en adelante, si les comparto un video a través de esta plataforma de Zoom por el chat o por el WhatsApp, no lo pueden compartir acá. Estamos grabando por copyrights, ¿verdad? Apagamos los micrófonos, yo los apago, de hecho, todos. Eh, lo vemos todos acá o a veces les puedo decir nos vamos a dividir en grupos vamos a analizar el siguiente video y cualquiera que sea de los dos casos tu misión cada vez que vemos un video corto en YouTube será número uno ir a los ajustes de YouTube si alguien no conoce cómo hacer eso pónganlo aquí en el chat de Zoom ir a los ajustes de YouTube y buscar Ubicarse más bien en dos opciones. La primera es tener los subtítulos encendidos en inglés. ¿Ok? Subtítulos encendidos todo el tiempo. Sub dije subtítulos, no la traducción. No lo pongan los subtítulos en español. No. Tienen que ser en inglés. Siempre. ¿Ok? Segundo, si sientes que están hablando muy rápido en el video que te he compartido, incluso yo puedo llegar a decirte, Bajale la velocidad. Lower speed. Lower speed. Eso se hace en los ajustes. Y ahí dice playback speed o velocidad de reproducción. Y le podríamos bajar a un punto 75. Si sientes que muy rápido están hablando o muy rápido te salen los subtítulos. Te vas a punto 75. Entonces, si alguien no entiende cómo se hace eso, dígame por favor. Sí, creo que todos estamos acá en la clase. Veo muchas cámaras apagadas. Ok, I don't like that, pero bueno. Entonces, de nuevo, subtítulos y la velocidad si tú consideras necesario. ¿Por qué estos parámetros? Porque, uno, tu misión no es solamente entender el video. Muchos están acá no para aprender los tecnicismos de los temas que vamos viendo. Repito, los tecnicismos o la jerga que se aplica a cada tema que vamos viendo. Por ejemplo, ahorita estamos hablando de waiters, right? The restaurant. Aquí no, me dijeron que no hay ningún uh, mesero ni bartender, según entiendo. Pues este tipo de jerga de, de, de tecnicismos no, no te van a llamar mucho la atención. Entonces, ¿Qué haces? Encender los subtítulos de estos videos y tú vas viendo 
palabras nuevas. Puede que yo te diga, ok, I have a challenge for you, right? I have, I need five new verbs. Find five new verbs. Y de manera general, siempre tu misión será buscar palabras o vocabulario nuevo dentro del video que vemos. So, the first one is how to take an order in a restaurant, which is our topic tonight. That's our topic for tonight. How to take orders in a restaurant. Okay. And for this video, we will have only five minutes. Ah, aquí nos quedamos. We stay here. You have disabled the cameras. What? No. Jorge Alberto. La Ines. No, no, I haven't. There you go. Okay. So for this one, we only have five minutes. Get new vocabulary, okay? Let's go. Let me send the link here.
Okay, for the ones that, that has finished, and the ones that have finished watching the video, you may share your new words here through the chat on Zoom while we wait for the others. <laughs> Timing outlets. Yeah, that, that word. Timing outlets. Okay, I think we're ready. Um, so I'm answering and replying to Maho. Keep record of the time. That's timing. Uh, remember the timing. It's the base on every procedure, right? You need to have good timing. Good timing. Outlets. Um, they said in context. They said beverage outlets, establishments, places where they sell beverages. That's what they refer to. Me doy por entendido que todos los demás saben todo el vocabulario ocupado en ese video. <laughs> hostess, very good. Who's the hostess? Is the person at the entrance greeting the customers. The person at the entrance. For example, when you go to Pizza Hut, you sell, and, and they go like, hi, good evening. Welcome to Pizza Hut. That's the hostess. Pairing. Pairing. I need context. But pairing is um, putting two things together. Putting two things together. Approach. When you approach a customer, it's like getting closer to a customer. I'm the waitress. I'm the waiter. I'm sorry. I'm the waiter and I approach the customer. Approach. Yeah. Is, uh, retroalimentar approach. No. Approach is to get close to someone. Mm. Acercarse a alguien. Eldest. Good. So you have old. Older, oldest, sorry, oldest, the oldest, right? And eldest, eldest is like the most elderly, <laughs> the most elderly, el más anciano, okay? Google it. Vieja, más vieja, más vieja, o viejo, más viejo, más viejo, mucho más viejo, mayor, elderly. 
Elderly. Okay. Uh, what pairing in proper timing? Proper timing. Yes, as I mentioned. Approach. Illness. Skillful is one word that goes together. Skillful. Sorry, that's misspelled. I always make a mistake with that word. Skillful. I think that's the right spelling. Oh yeah, double L. There's always a miss interaction. There you go. Skillful. Sorry, it's double L. So words, words, how to do things are very important. Do you think uh, the job or the job of a waiter or waitress is difficult? Help pairing wine. Good. Siempre necesitas contexto. Help pairing wine. So, for example, I think during lunch, you cannot drink, um, let's say, a shot, a tequila shot, right? No. You can drink wine, but what kind of wine? White wine or red wine? Many, many restaurants offer you a red wine. And at night, they offer you a white wine. Now, pairing, help pairing wine, refers to this wine, this red wine, this escarlot or whatever, escargot, I don't know how to say that, goes with steak with meat. This wine goes with spaghetti. Yeah, that's pairing the wine. Got it? Good. Sparkling water. Um, how do we call that in Spanish? Do you like drinking sparkling water for Christmas? How do we call that? My my grandma used to love sparkling sidra. water. Sidra. I think it's sidra. Sidra. No. That's the name. Yes. Uh, okay. True. So that that's what it is. Okay, guys. I'm staying tonight with Jorge Alberto Lainez Diaz. Jorge Alberto Lainez Diaz. Hope you can stay 10 minutes. Yes. Awesome. Okay. Good night, guys. Alex, Alex Enoch Ramirez Salazar. Okay, he's here. Ana Raquel Campos Ayala. Present. Good night. Good night. Ana Victoria Galán Cantón. Present. Thank you. Brandon Alexis Velázquez Ayala. Present. Thank you. Denise Alejandra Suñi Galdana. Present. Thank you. Freddy Ricardo Landa Verde. Present. Bye. <laughs> Good night. Thank you. Fight. Jorge Alberto Laínez Díaz. Thank you. Jorge Ernesto Hernández Durán. Present, teacher. Thank you. Luis Eduardo Reyes. Present. Excellent. María José Escobar Portillo. Present, muscles. Muscles, good work. Maritza Celina Aguilar Ramos. Present and messages. Messages, beautiful pronunciation. Miguel Santos Marroquín Maravilla. Okay, I see you. Uh, Morelia Giselle Perdomo Pineda. Present motorcycle. Motorcycle. Thank you. Nancy Carolina Good Saldana Membreño. Good night. Present and number. Number. Good. Thank you. Good night. Oscar Eduardo Melendez Martinez. Roberto Ernesto Morales Colindres. Present. Good night. Good night. Thank you. Roxana Geraldina Wandique Ortiz. Present and good night. 
Good night. <laughs> okay, guys, I'll see you tomorrow. Have some rest. Tomorrow. Okay. See you tomorrow. It's Teacher. going to be tomorrow. We're going class. to have a class tomorrow. Mañana. That's what I think. We never miss a class. Okay. It's... You're joking. No. <laughs> no, in realidad, no nos really? han informado nada. No nos han informado okay. nada. Uh, pero supongo que sí, van a haber clases. Bueno. Usualmente hay clases, aunque sea día feriado. Qué bueno, okay, le van okay. a pagar doble. No. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Okay, guys. Good okay. night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Okay, Mr. Laines, buenas noches. Esta es primera vez que estamos en una sesión eh, de este grupo, ¿no? Este los tengo por primera vez. Suelo abrir estas sesiones en español, aunque estén avanzado, eh, con tres preguntas, bien básico. Lo primero, ¿cuál ha sido su experiencia en cuanto a, al inglés? O sea, sin mencionar nombres de academias, pero ¿cuánto tiempo lleva intentándolo aprender? Y dentro de esa experiencia, ¿cuál ha sido la dificultad, la mayor dificultad? ¿Ha sido hablarlo, escribirlo, entenderlo? ¿Cuál es la mayor dificultad? Y la tercera pregunta, eh, ¿qué estoy haciendo? Aparte de recibir estas dos horas de clase, ¿qué más hago para aprender inglés? Primero... Creo que esto es muy pronto, ¿no? yo estoy empezando desde cero. Yo nunca había aprendido inglés. Sí, me, me gusta bastante. Aunque sí me cuesta mucho, mucho. mucho. Eh, segundo, eh, me cuesta entenderlo bastante. Como lo repito, yo estoy aprendiendo después de cero. Y la verdad me gustaría aprender mucho, pero... No sé qué es lo que puedo hacer para poder más. O sea, nunca había estudiado inglés antes. Ah, Nada. Okay. Es primera, okay. primera vez que estén estos cursos. Sí, correcto. Pero, ¿ha empezado desde el básico 1 acá con inglés corporativo o es primera vez que está? No, no, ha empezado desde el básico 1. Desde el básico 1. Ah, ok, ok. Bien, pues en estos seis meses, ¿cuál, ¿qué ha sido lo que más le ha costado? ¿Entenderlo? Entenderlo, ok. Bien, la base para comprender el inglés es la gramática, lo que les he enviado ahí en el, en el chat de WhatsApp. Eh, ¿Cómo se, se hace para que la gramática se quede grabada y no se nos olvide? Eh, pues, hacer algo todos los días, ¿no? Hacer algo todos los días. Eso... Lo primero es disciplinarse. ¿En qué ¿A qué horas de mi agenda apretada todos los días yo puedo hacer algo? Eso es lo primero. Definir a qué hora voy a hacer esto. Lo segundo, ahí tienen un, dos listados de verbos que les envié. Entonces, digamos que usted empieza mañana, ¿no? Y mañana dice, voy a hacer la tarea. Pues agarro un verbo, cualquier verbo. Uh, podría decir jump. Le pongo su significado. Ok. En español. Si me cuesta, le pongo el significado en español. Bien, ahora, busco una palabra que esté relacionada a este verbo. Voy a decir rope. Lo mismo, pongo el significado en español. Cuerda. Ahora, ya puedo comenzar yo a hacer oraciones utilizando esto, el verbo y la palabra. ¿Cómo lo voy a hacer? Pues... Tengo que definir qué tiempo gramatical voy a utilizar. Si mañana es jueves, ok, jueves voy a hacer, digamos, presente continuo. Voy a hacer present continuous. Ya lo vi, ya lo estudié, pero no se me quedó. Voy a ocupar presente continuo, ok. Ahora, ¿cómo era la estructura? Me digo a mí mismo, empiezo con el sujeto, hay... Luego decía ahí la regla. Busco la regla, ¿eh? Um, jumping the rope. Y aquí voy a comenzar positivo. 
negativo, pregunta. Okay. ¿Cómo sería esto en negativo? I'm not. Tiene algo de, de problemas de audio, ¿verdad? Está retirado. No, no, Ah, ok, ok. Comprendo, ok. Bueno, entonces seguimos, ¿no? Positivo, negativo. Pregunta, ¿cómo hago la pregunta? Am I jumping the rope? Ya tengo una. So, entonces, esto es de entenderlo así. Eh, voy parte por parte. Ya hice una estructura. Ya hice una estructura en positivo, negativo y pregunta. Ocupé un, suje un verbo y una, y una palabra. Ahora voy con otra y agarro otra vez. A agar agarrar el verbo y otra palabra. ¿no? Y así voy. Hago cinco veces este ejercicio. En presente continuo el jueves. El viernes en pasado simple. El lunes en presente simple. Y me divido mi semana. ¿Cómo lo voy a hacer? En un cuaderno en el que solo haga esto número uno número dos me compro primero un lapicero de cuatro minas por lo menos de colores y lo que voy a poner en color es el verbo o el auxiliar o sea porque a mi cerebro le encantan los colores eh, el video que les envié ayer de es posible lo imposible no sé si ya lo ha visto Ajá, entonces ahí él habla. Yo, mire, esta tarea yo la basé en, ese, en esa conferencia. Ahí descubrí que el cerebro no sigue órdenes. Yo no le puedo obligar a que se grabe cinco verbos todos los días. No, tengo que darle el contexto. ¿Sí? ¿Saltar qué? Ah, la cuerda, ok. Y ahí se va quedando. Esto es, esto es sin esfuerzo. El cerebro se va grabando la información sin esfuerzo. ¿Que se va a aprender los cinco verbos y las cinco palabras? No. No, por lo menos dos verbos y dos palabras se quedan. Y eso está garantizado. ¿Ok? Porque para hablar, para entender, se necesita tener vocabulario para hablar y entender. ¿Ok? Bueno, muchas gracias. Entonces, Jorge Alberto... Hope you have a wonderful night. No, ahí estamos para servirle. Good night.